Well, good morning, tribe, and welcome through the eye of that little camera, which is kind of staring at me like an awkward little cyclop right now. Anyway, why am I vlogging? What on earth is this place? All questions to which I would answer simply, yes! First, let's set things straight. I'm not at all, all, I'm not at all that selfie kind of guy, and uh, well, making vlogs is basically very new to me. But if that camera is gonna follow me around everywhere, might as well we become good friends so that we can be comfortable around each other, you know? So, what do you say? You wanna go have breakfast with me? This is my aunt's family house. That's where I started recording in her piece many years ago. Now they're on vacation, so I'm taking care of the gardens. And I'm also here to finish building the labyrinth. They'd always make such great hip hop album covers. If that's not some serious style. He knows we're looking at him. don't mind the little rant, but that's when beauty of YouTube, I'm only talking to people who are stoked to listen. I've been working on the same thing for the last nine years. That's long, but in history, there was so much like that. People working on inventions for years, hiding from debts in hotel rooms, inventing TV transmissions, all kind of ways to use the electricity. The crazy inventor monk life. Thank you, Elon. Well, that's how my life's been for the last while now. And it's kind of romantic, but it's also really hard! Sometimes you gotta go out of the garden to get some of the best thing. With open heart and empty lungs, Woo! I'll wait for you at the bottom of the sea. Then from the surface, So many times I thought, I'll be done in a month, I'll be done in a year, but I wanted to keep growing, so I kept going. Like, the only thing that makes drinking water more necessary than building the labyrinth to me is the fact that without drinking water, I could not build the labyrinth. It's a manifestation of what I am, an extension of my breath and all my love for biodiversity. But I would really like to thank my sponsor, of which I'm really proud to stand behind. It's called Water. Hmm. Mm. So for sure, it wakes me up in the morning and gets me going. My body just naturally woke up. A bit like all these birds. I think I'd wake up with less energy if the house was simply on fire. Oops! Our house is on fire. The fire of greed and maintained obsolescence. So yeah, I wake up pretty lit. But though all of this is beautiful, I don't wish it to anyone. We all have our destinies, but this is intense. Since all those years, I literally connect everything I hear, everything I see, somehow, to this. That's how easy it is to put ideas together. <laughs> that's what I did in my tent up in Yukon. And that's what I do when I hide in the bathroom at parties. <laughs> yes, friends, if you seen me run to the bathroom and stay in it for far too long, I was not pinching a loaf. Nah. I was scribbling the labyrinth into existence. Possibly on toilet paper. That's what I did every time I left my loved ones for seclusion. How come you're not eating? 
Maybe I take this? I'm kidding, I'm an AI super geek. Of course I know cameras don't need food. Hey Wingo, what's up? That's Wigo, my robot imaginary friend. He's been a roommate in my mind for quite some times now, and he's right. Let's get to it. It's taken so much more time than I thought. I miss my friends. I feel so bad for my nieces and nephews, my godson Jai and Eva that I just never see. Arr, I'm so sorry to be invisible. But at the same time, I know that's the best way I can act out of love, giving biodiversity more chance at thriving. And though I know that, when I think of all the people I'm letting down to focus, my body included, I wanna cry! But when I'm thinking of the great gift I'm making for them, no matter if it takes time, then I wanna laugh. And so somewhere in the middle, I breathe and keep going. So, I'm about to go visit this man who lives nearby and is taking care of tens of thousands of bees. And uh, yeah, as you probably know from visiting the labyrinth, oh. I really love bees. Let's check this out. So here we are in the neighborhood of the bees. Oh, the beautiful little bee condos everywhere. Skyscrapers. Actually, I would call those sky ticklers. That's even what I was doing every night for the last bits of my mother's life. On the floor of the hospital, as soon as she'd managed to fall asleep. And for all the years she was sick with cancer, the few times I did wish I wouldn't have to take care of her, it was not to hang out, it was to build the labyrinth. Je t'aime, maman! Huh. And you know what? Three days after her death, I got all my work stolen. And after barely five minutes of flat out freaking out, I saw it as a miracle. A sign that I had to do it much, much more magical. But now the one million dollar question, how will the website will have the kind of impact I'm talking about? Well soon. But know that the labyrinth is not just a website. It's more like a forest, a wild place, and wilderness is so powerful. And it's alive, and it's ongoing, and it moves of its own accord. And what's coming out now is just the first chapter. And these vlogs will be in parallel to it, like another side to the coin. Anyway, let me make a few predictions. Life's already amazing, but with you, it's gonna get even better. And I'll grow faster, and become a better adult, and I'll go talk to the mayor about silly policies as many times as necessary. Stepping up to redesign the system and all the inventions and ideas that I kept for after the labyrinth will slowly come to manifest. And all of this has so much value. So naturally, a lot of money will flow through me. And I'm gonna do outstanding things with it. We can't even imagine. But I swear to God! Nature will love it. Nature will love it. It might take three days, three months, three years, but you know I'm persistent. And if you too have an idea that you know just has to be born, well go for it, please. Be as crazy as you need and let your breath both guide you and inspire you. Look at the size of those leaves, it's like Jurassic Park. Chicken water, cause sometimes you're thirsty and all you gotta do is not listen to the ants! And wait for it, this little mountainy thing, why would there be a chimney on it if it was just a butte? Well, it's because it is a full-fledged hobbit house. Do you want to see what's inside? Uh, no, no. Not this time, but if you stick around for these adventures, maybe we'll get to see what's on the other side of this door handle. <laughs> I don't, you're good. You don't like my big laughter. So that's it for this vlog. The Labyrinth's coming out July 23rd in honor of the birthday of my friend Derek. That guy's a miracle. He believes in the Labyrinth so much that one day he gathered all of his courage, then he used all of that courage to gather a lot of his money, and he made this money available so that the project could keep growing. Thank you so much, man. And this is it, boy. It's happening. And to finish, proper YouTube politeness, follow Little Bang on all the social medias you wish, just because you can, and also because the art piece is the state of the planet, and you'll definitely want to watch it unfold. Giving some love to that channel. Subscribe! 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 Aho! Oh, oh, and if there's still only a few hundred subscriptions, take a picture, you'll like it someday. No, I'm gonna go and give a bit of myself to the mosquitoes so my ego calms down a bit. Thank you so much for your precious attention. See you soon!